Bam! Welcome back to episode 102, right? Is it? 102, I think, yeah. Yep, 102. Whoa! Right. How's the levels on our mics? Because you didn't check. The levels are fine. Hey, 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 it's me. And hey, 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 it's me. Now it's, now it's me. Hey, hey, now it's me. Absolutely. Kibbs is lower. <laughs> Significantly. Significantly. I just keep right up low. I'm um, Reed. I'm Reed. Hey, 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 it's me. Hey, 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 it's me. That's fun. Hi, little foot. We have a special guest today. It's Steve. Hello, everybody. Why are uh, you facing the computer, man? Because <laughs> <laughs> I want to eat more cut. Co- Dude, I'm such a glutton on this fucking podcast and in general. In general. The podcast is the least <laughs> gluttonous I would say you are. Mm. I've been eating a lot of Oreo ice cream cake lately. All right, man. Wow. Ever since that uh, cake from Nick, you just picked Which up the habit. Which was a cookies uh-huh. and cream cake. <laughs> Actually, butthole. You got that Whoa. idea from me. Easy, dog. Hold on a second. Did you tell him to buy that for the podcast? Mm-mm. Wow, okay. Dude, Steve paid Nick extra to, make it, to go get it. Make it seem like the Rex give a shit about us. Make okay. it seem like the Rex are here. The only one Rex member lives here still. Only one. Only Nick? Yeah. Which one? Is Brennan not in the band? Was uh, he ever? Brennan? He's like he a roadie, was, isn't he? He was, touring with, uh, he was touring with a band that you know. Oh, yeah. Was it All Time Low? No. They're still around? Oh, yeah. Starts with an N. Nomads or something. Nope. No Man's Sky. That's not the band. Nothing But Thieves. Nothing But Thieves. That's it. Yep. No, 100 Thieves. Mm, The game. (laughs) We have a sponsor (laughs) for this episode, and that sponsor is DoorDash. DoorDash. The place to catch your goodies. Uh, I'll tell you after the ad read what I thought you were going to (laughs) say. Okay. If you will mind me. I will. Long day at work. Yeah. Tough day at school. Yeah. Still stuck at the office. Yeah. James yeah. does all three. <sighs> Treat yourself to the meal you deserve. On demand from your favorite restaurant. Restaurants come to you with DoorDash. DoorDash connects you to your favorite restaurants in your city. Ordering is easy. Just use DoorDash, the app, and choose what you want to eat. And a Dasher will bring it to you anywhere you are. They're called Dashers. I love that. That's Dasher crazy. and Dancer and Prancer and Dixon. And Nixon. <laughs> Isn't it? No, it's Blitzen. Yeah. Or is it? Is no. it Nixon? No. Wasn't he one of the... It's Vixen. Speaking of DoorDash. Wasn't Nixon one of the uh, reindeer presidents? Not only is that burger place you love on DoorDash already, but mm-hmm. over 310,000 other amazing restaurants are, too. DoorDash connects you with door-to-door delivery in over 3,300 cities all 50 states and Canada. Uh oh. Uh oh. And Canada. Uh oh. Hey, man, don't fucking rip on Canada. Order from your local go to's or choose from your favorite chains like Chipotle, Wendy's, Chick fil A, and the Cheesecake Factory. Mm. Oof. Hey, don't worry about dinner. You know I love to go there. Let dinner come to you. With DoorDash, right now our listeners can get $5 off their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter promo code PINE or That's more. $5 off your first order when you download the DoorDash app from the App Store and enter promo code PINE. PINE. Again, that's promo code PINE. PINE. For $5 off your first order from DoorDash. For five daughters off. For five daughters off. Hey, yeah. Thank you, DoorDash, for sponsoring the podcast. And now to your regular... You give some of the days. <laughs> I'm a little Thanks, worried about uh, so this So what I thought one. you were going to say is DoorDash, where you can buy your guns. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's actually where I was going with that. I think, is you there know, like, a... He's licking a dick. Is there like a door-to-door delivery service for just buying guns? I'm sure there is. Is that on Postmates? Probably shouldn't have used that, that term. Ouch. No, man. The word Postmates, dude. Now you've well, said it is, twice in a podcast. After the ad read, we're done with it. They're going to keep it. watching, man. Doubt it. You guys still watching? Littlefoot, you get whoever's outside yes. the door. You get <laughs> yes. them. Go get it. You get to eat Go them. get it. He's got a little uh, yeah, go get milk it. and cookies bandana. So cute. Yeah, there's milk, there's cookies, there's hearts, and there's water. He went to the groomer. Um, Alyssa was worried because uh, he's been itching, um, and she thought it was fleas. What, what are you pointing at? Do you think he still has fleas? No, he never did. Right, he always had dry skin. He has dry skin, yeah. and he just loves itching. He was just itching. He just loves Dude, itching. Pretty common dog thing, actually, to be the itching. most annoying thing ever. Like especially with Vinny, is because he'll get little dry spots, and then he'll 
scratch him and so it might like start to get a little raw but right. then he licks it and makes it more and more raw non-stop he's just licking it and I'm like dude that's not helping you understand the right, human body understand right. the human anatomy yes I'm hearing you guys this is my new vape juice it's egg oh that's <laughs> what's <laughs> fuck <laughs> dude <laughs> fucking that's the most <laughs> egg farts mm. in here <laughs> it's yellow oh, thank so you dude funny. Why are you smiling? Yeah, why are you smiling? <laughs> Stinky, dude. You love that shit, don't you? We, James and I were playing Seven Days to Die earlier, and he, uh, I said something about Fortnite. Um, I, I said something about Cloaksy, and James was like, oh, dude, I had the best dream in my life the other night. You're not going to believe it. And I don't think I said best dream in my life. I said I had one of the funniest dreams. Of his life? And it was just last night. Of your life. Well, I don't think I found Here's, something you've done funny yet, so let's try well, it. Well, we're going to work on that. <laughs> it's funny because I woke up, and I was like, why... Why was that a dream I had? I could have experienced a different dream and had a better time. What do you think the dream was? <laughs> <laughs> so basically, all I remember is that I was playing Fortnite on PS4 for some reason. <coughs> Fuck, man. And I was somehow in the World Cup. Is that your real dream? That was the dream. James was in the World no, Cup I mean, for PlayStation. Okay, bud, you can come over. He can't. He can't come over. So I was in the World Cup, and I was playing on console, and the crowd was going wild. The commentators were they were actually? Going or you just were you doing this? well? No, I yeah, swear. I, I was don't... doing really well because I was getting lucky. I kept like everyone was like, "How is he doing this?" And even Doctor Lupus oh, was like man. commentating over you. Yeah, Doctor Lupin. You're saying that an Oompa Loompa watched you play Fortnite. Yeah, and he was creeping. And he was fucking going nuts. He's creeping out, man. Fuck, man. So. It came down to me versus a duo for the, for this the is Why is this so detailed? It's so dude. vivid. I swear, because these, these are the vivid parts that I remember from it. And Imagine the stuff he doesn't remember. It was 2v1, <laughs> and all I had was like, I think it was um, the marksman rifle from Seven Days to Die. Because <laughs> it was like, I couldn't, I had to, I, I had like the scope on it and I couldn't like get out of the scope and I killed one of the guys and then he killed me. So I got second place. He killed you after he, after you killed him. The other guy. Cause it was two V one, man. Come mm. on. Stay with it. Stay with it, dude. So you, you got here? second place got in your second dream place in the world cup. Fuck man. That's like when, uh, Dwight made his, his new job where he's like, what's your dream job? He's like, I run, uh, an air or a be a, a Ben breakfast in hell. And I co-own with the devil. It's like, so in your wildest dream, you're still co-owner. <laughs> that's um, What do you think that says about you? That you think you'll only come in... That you, want, that you think you'll, you'll only come in second in life? Yeah. Wow. You know what I mean? I'm trying to psychoanalyze and see, like... I just think it's because I really like Fortnite. Yeah, that could be it, too. <laughs> that could be it, too. Yeah, you're never going to be number one, you fucking psycho. Yeah, you <laughs> fucking animal. Dude, James, if anyone, is an animal. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you guys want to know uh, how I almost died recently? No, let's talk about more Fortnite. <laughs> Fuck, That's man. the dream, and I woke up, and I was just like, that was funny. <laughs> then you smacked your own ass. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Did you laugh? <laughs> Did you almost die, actually? I didn't almost die, but Not I had close. one of the most scary experiences of all time. So we were filming a a, a skydiving episode the other for day. Sugar Pine Seven. N uh, yeah, for Sugar Pine Seven. You guys weren't there. You wouldn't understand. And um, I have to go in the plane to film the ladies jumping out of the the plane. It's a small plane, obviously. And you How sit. How small are we talking? Really small. Like it was packed fully. So basically, it's like two benches, and then the pilots. And the benches are like. Six feet Are they on, on each the side, side on each side of the, the wall. Plane. Yeah, and so you're the, like the in between the benches is only like this much space. So imagine it's probably like twelve feet total. Was it in like the like plane. propellers on the? Plane? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, yeah, that's so. scary, dude. Small and planes scare the shit out of me. I'm sitting on the opposite side of the like the the fucking big door that opens up, and it's still like I could basically reach over and touch the edge of the door, and the door is like fucking wide open when we're up there. They all jump out, and the wind's fucking going nuts, and uh, I have a fucking parachute on in case. Something you get happens, out. and they gave me a quick like, <laughs> if you fall out or something happens with the plane, you jump out. And my first thought was, okay, if something happens, I'm gonna take the SD card out of the thing and put it in my pocket. That was my first thought. I'm gonna put the SD card I have in my to pocket. Save the footage. I have to save the footage. Wait, why don't you just hold on to the camera? 
Oh, oh, never would, would be able to happen. Too. Never would happen. Really? No. Yeah, I've never no, been no, skydiving. No. Oh, no, no, no. I haven't no. either, but I know that like it's impossible to hold anything, dude. Even How in do the people plane, do it then? like you could if you're they have GoPros attached to their wrists. If you're and like helmets. free falling and you're not like fully like tense, you could like <laughs> ragdoll and like fuck fucking yourself. fuck yourself. Yeah. So after they jump out of the plane, which That's is why already you fall like that, like it's already down. like terrifying for me. Pencil. You would die. You'd probably just hit the ground and die. Dude. <laughs> yeah, like, what if... No, what I'm if you serious. break the sound barrier. Yeah, what if you break the sound barrier going down like a pencil and then you hit the ground? That's what would happen. Exactly. You would, you would literally turn into water and splat. Your body would just explode. Yeah, it would literally explode. Explode. It would explode. Like, there was a... You know those guys um, who do, like, the best and worst CGI React videos? Yeah. Yeah, Corridor like, Digital. Yeah, they're great. So they did one where... Uh, well... They're great. Yeah. They are. <laughs> um, they did one where it's like making. I'm sorry. There's a little no, 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 go little break it. in your story. Yeah, yeah it's going along with the falling and small splatting. Small break. Small break. They'd made um, fight Hopefully. scenes in Marvel movies like look R-rated, so all the action like bloody and shit like that. And then they were like, so Iron Man falls off the building and at the last second goes and like flies back up. At that velocity, he, if he did, his body would turn to liquid inside the suit because of the like G-force. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> just walk, his blood. suit keeps going. It and lands. It lands and opens up. And just hang blood. on, hang on. Hang. He goes, <laughs> lands. All of his friends and family are around. Suit opens up. They're like, <laughs> yeah. they, dude, they're shining. Blood just spills out. Spills out of the fucking thing. Back to you. So, anyways, <clears throat> after they jump out, which is already like, I felt as if when we were in the air and they were about to jump up, when the fucking thing opens, uh, the door opens, and I'm right basically by the door, but on the other side. So much anxiety and panic happened for me, and I knew I wasn't jumping out. Mm -hmm. I was like, I looked over, and my fucking life flashed before my eyes. I felt sick, and I was like, I could never jump out of this plane. I could never do it. And then there's this one guy crouched down beside me, holding onto me in case, like, fucking shit happens. You're not gonna save out. him. You'll yeah. be Wait, like, so uh, the, die. <laughs> the thing that's funny about this is they gave you a parachute, but y it, you can't, like, uh, solo jump without, like, so An much. Right. Yeah, the no, training. You, you have so much training. You have to go through like but you just so have to many pull different. One cord, right? No, but there's like, so much more that goes into. Like, I watched Mission Impossible. I'm at, dude. I had to know, and in that panic state, everything I learned, the 30 seconds I was told what to do, would be gone. They've done it a million times. So if I jumped out and then immediately pulled my parachute into the plane, I'm dead. You would immediately dead. pull your parachute. You do. You have it from to wait a three seconds. Feet up. You have to wait three seconds after you jump out. You do and it from fall. fifty feet up from the ground. <laughs> How high I was the plane? Uh, over ten thousand feet. Damn. It was very high up. The, the free fall was a minute. So you didn't jump out of the plane. Dude. I didn't jump out of the plane. But after they jumped, the plane. This is apparently only to get down to the ground faster. This tiny ass plane with the door still open goes completely nose vertical dives. nose dives for like five straight seconds to get to the ground faster. Was Brett there? Brett was not there. Did you, he doesn't work there anymore. Did you have the opportunity to jump out? Uh, I probably could have if I wanted to, but I was like, Why I don't want to. Why were you on to. the plane? Because to film them with a DSLR. So it's not just bullshit GoPro footage. You know so you're I mean? telling me that there's no possible way you could hold a DSLR? No, no. You would have to have like so, a body so think about, camera. Think about when you're driving yeah. 80 miles an hour and you stick your head out of a window. How difficult that is when you're holding onto a camera. Especially with all the bugs. Imagine yeah. fucking jumping out of a plane, the amount of pressure and shit going up. Like their faces were like. <laughs> Anyways, so it nose dives. And it was the scariest thing because I'm not like buckled in or anything. I'm sitting on a fucking bench and the plane goes completely vertical goes down for like five seconds. It was like the worst roller coaster you've ever been on, which felt amazing. And you hear me <clears throat> involuntarily ah! screaming in the camera because I'm still recording. I like tucked it into my body. He's like, hold on tight. And we fucking go vertical. I'm like, ah! and then woo, the fucking adrenaline hits me. There are people that experience that as a job every day. The pilots, the pilots of the plane. Yeah. It was fucking terrifying. And that's the end of the story. I love that. I want to go skydiving. Me too. I don't know if I could do it, but after that, I was like, you "Holy could, shit!" Because it, you would be with it. You would be strapped to an instructor. Oh yeah, and they like. I think there's. I know there's at least two, um, shoots in the. In yeah, the there's a backup shoot. The first one they gave me had a little thing right here that I had to like pull out, and then they're like we're gonna switch that one because it's a little bit more difficult, and you're just gonna have this like there's this metal buckle right here that I just pull down like that for it to all come out. Dude, but I just picture a long, tiny metal spike. Uh, pulling out of the side of the plane and you just walk by it parachute goes off because it gets stuck on that in the plane itself <laughs> you're fucking absolutely sicko, <laughs>
Where's and you're just being dragged behind the plane. <laughs> ah! Ragdoll. No, that's not funny. <laughs> no, that would suck. No. That would suck. And you know what? It was such a thrill, though. It was terrifying, but also the most fucking incredible thing. And I didn't even jump out. I can't even imagine. And they were terrified. The ladies were terrified to do it. And afterwards, they're like, I'd, I'd do it again right now. Was it loud? Um, Yeah, it was pretty loud. Did you have to wear a headset? No. Or no headset. I had a was, headset up there, but it wasn't on me. I just had it like tucked. Was Big D there? No, Big D wasn't there. It was just girls? He was in Miami, but he wasn't there. Yeah, it was just the ladies. Oh, so and then the guys. In Miami? Are there no, this was... um. This was like in the middle of fucking nowhere, like two hours north. Yeah, it was uh, Lompoc. No. Or Ojai. No. It's near, it was near something with a B. Bro Brook something. Bearback Mountain. It was near. I could show you on a map, but I don't remember what it was called. Brooksville or do something. You, uh, do, are those, do those ladies have reoccurring roles on there? Or yeah, they're the host. Or do they Craigslist them every time? No, they're the host. They have like a year. Craigslist. They have a year deal. They, they, they have... You're getting paid for. Oh, I work. wasn't sure if it was like Dan Bilzerian's Instagram people or if it was. Like I don't know what their deal is, but I think they also get a certain amount of money and just have to do whatever. You probably shouldn't say that. Not do whatever sexually. I mean, no, like, I mean, you probably shouldn't say that he, that's to ruin the facade. Oh, I don't care. I'm sure it's public knowledge and I'm speculating because I don't know. I'm thinking that they're paid a yearly salary. You're just basing it off of what what the what host do as well for Dan. Sort of. I don't have a salary. Yeah, you get paid to have sex with him. Well, that's besides the point. You got paid to have sex with me at Sugar Pine 7. And that led me to where I am now, and I don't regret it. I don't care. You're if, nowhere now. I don't care if I have a gaping You're asshole. nowhere fast. You're nowhere near as now fast as I thought you could Now let's get that ass blast. <laughs> blast off. Now I have to fuck Steve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Gross. I wish I had stories, but I don't have anything because uh, I'm 30 days off of Adderall now, and it's... You're still not on Adderall? No, I haven't gotten contacted by my psychiatrist. Contact oh, them. Oh, yeah. You, tried. You tried it. A, oh, she quit on you? She's she on gave vacation. up on She him. said there was no hope. <laughs> we have to put you down, Steve, they said. And I said, You're a danger to society. I'm stronger than this. No, not that I'm danger. I'm just, I. I'm I stronger got a, than you. No, you I got a broken leg. I got a broken leg for a little bit. My psychiatrist, I went to her and she's like, oh, You're fucking lying, dude. I'm sorry. We have to do this. And so they took you out to a ditch. How'd you break your leg? A ditch out in the field and they. Shot you right in the middle of the forehead. Like an old dead dog. Mowing the lawn, actually. Mm. You okay. broke your leg mowing Which the lawn? Which lawn? Backyard. No lawn. There's no lawn back there. Front yard. No lawn. Neighbor's yard. Okay. You're okay, that, that one's yeah. realistic. Picking up some side work. Well, there was this MILF um, in the backyard, and she was watching me do the pool boy stuff. Oh, for sure. And I had my gut out. That's hot. And uh, I was... <laughs> I was flapping it around, you know. I was just as you get some circulation. It sounded a lot going. like that. Yeah, I was hot, so it was like I was slapping my belly mm. around like this because I'm starting to get a little belly from the lack of Adderall. Because a little belly, that's an understatement. And I was slapping it around. I was slapping my my little belly around. And this Big milf, belly. this it's milf, a, she's say six, it how she's it is. She's 65 years old. She's six two. She's six two, 65, 65 years old. Um, might 65 have been, pounds. Might have been 75. Um, she comes uh, out of the the. Glass door, you know the. Does she have any of those spots? Like, hey, on the what are you doing in my? And she was a milf. What are you doing in my pool? I feel like seventy-five. You can speak better than that. Did she have some sort of uh, disability that prevented her from speaking coherently? Uh, no. And she was watching me at the pool, and she's like, "What are you doing? You're so hot, I could f flip you, you over on a skillet and, and smack you in the back of the neck." And uh, wow, yeah, she was like, she's, she like was aggressive. Do you think it, she yeah. had grilled cheese pussy? Um, I don't know. I didn't get that far because uh, I, I, she fell in the pool and died. Right, and then what'd she say? <laughs> 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 yeah, no, weak legs though. You or the dog? <laughs> <laughs> um, I just got Adderall <clears throat> yesterday because I saw my therapist, and I'm extremely happy about that. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Yes. Nice. Feeling good? Feeling clear? Feeling, feeling good? Feeling grapes, girl? Man. Feeling grapes? Mm -hmm. I literally got home yesterday. You look focused. And I was just working on music for like Oh, that's why you were working seconds. on music instead of mm. playing yeah. Daisy. Motivation happened. Yeah. I literally was driving back from these errands I was doing, and I was just listening to music, and I was like, I actually want to create something right now. I actually feel like I can. Did you create something? Yeah. Nice. Ding Not entirely, but ding. I worked on a couple different things. These shows are for James. This night is for James today. What I did was I just sampled <laughs> Steve, was, and then insane. I input into my MIDI, so every key was a different word, and I made an entire song. It out was of like Steve. Spanish club. Oh. <laughs> 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 He's got a little poop breath. Yeah, no, yeah. he has poop breath and he's got cock breath. When I came in this room, that fucking dog, I gave him a hug. Lo and behold, his cock was two inches out of his fucking... Biggest erection you've Out ever of his seen? cock sheath, yeah. How big was it? That big? 
Are you smart? It was this much out of the sheath. I swear to God. Gross. I've never seen something. Oh, it was something. very funny looking. It was super weird, and I don't think that it's something I want to And it's like the width again. of a pencil. Mm. Yeah. That pisses me off. It was like a cat dick. Because it's bigger than that. No, it's not. It's like a cat dick. How many times have you seen it versus how many times I've seen it? Let's mm, be honest. True. You've seen it for some That's reason. That's right. He doesn't get erections around me, but every time he sees Kib, boom, pops one. It's boom, fear pops boners one. because he thinks that it's not he's fear. meant to. He, he thinks he's supposed to have a boner around Kib because of the it's, because he's, an, he's, he's the a implication predator. Because of the implications. Mm -hmm. He's a natural predator. Because of the yeah. accusations. <laughs> no, dude. It's excitement boners. And you know that when dogs get excitement boners, they swell up in areas that make it look like they have a second set of balls. I what swear to God. You literally do the same. You get, you, every time you get like, it's a scientific, scared, there's a scientific, you get swollen. Yeah, there's a scientific explanation for yeah. it. And it's weird because your name and your nickname in high school, wasn't it? The well, Natural Predator. It was the National Predator. The National Predator. <laughs> <laughs> National Predator. <laughs> I made my way around a few states. Doing what? Getting on Predating. I mean, going on Tinder, meeting up with some fam, and. Pursuing. Having ways. Having ways with them. The app? No, no, no. I mean more physical. Oh. I bring tools with me to disassemble. Disassemble what? You're really trying to get it out of me on the podcast, both of you? James hasn't said a word. But he's, you know, well, he's thinking it, and thinking. I feel it. Because um, we're so fucking close when you get right this close. You, I know. I know. I, I disassemble them. The people? The people? Well. Oh. You want to beat around the bush? You want me to say it? Yeah, just beat, beat, around, beat around the bush, yeah. Beat around the bush. So we hang out. I meet them. I tell them that I'm Steven Subtick from Sugar Pine 7. I show them some Fuck. pictures of me on the channel. So the name registers and they believe it. And then um, we go but back to the place. you're on the channel too. Exactly. So they'll still think that Steven Subtick is me because I, I show them then the channel. Then who do they think is the guy that looks like you on the show? Steven Subtick. They think that's so they think they're both Steven Subtick. No, they don't know that you're Steven Subtick. They think oh, that I'm Then who I'm do, I, who do they think I am? Nobody. They, they, think they don't even ask. They think I'm a nobody. I say, I say I'm not a nobody, dude. <laughs> I, I tell them that you're a fucking nobody, a cockroach, and they buy that easily. With no so questions they, asked. But they, but they still ask, though, James, because they, they can tell there's like a little twinkle in my eye like I have the X factor. And right. I'm, and, and I'm just me. Right. And they say that, and they go, oh, no, no, you're thinking of me. This one, Steven Subtick. So the people that you bring there, they look at me in that show, and they say, they say, hey, is that me? Yes. Not me. They think they it's think them. It's them. They yeah, think yeah, it's yeah. Them. It's and, weird, like, psychologically. Yeah. And to beat around the bush, I take them to a Starbucks in a burlap bag. Oh, this is after. What? No, this is during? During. So they're still... They're still alive. They're in it to win it. I go to a Starbucks. I order them a latte. Keep and it. they're in a bag. A cool latte. They're not in the bag yet. You just said they were in a burlap they bag. They are the bag. So they're dead. I disassembled them. <laughs> so they're dead. I disassembled them. So and they're I use dead. their skin. They're not dead yet. I keep their they're heart alive, going. They're alive, but you've taken off I have all a their pacemaker. Yeah, I have a pacemaker. And turned them into... Just a living bag of flesh. And I bring the burlap bag, that's them by the way, into the Starbucks, and I collect donations <laughs> with the bag. So you pretend to be homeless afterwards. Right, as Steven Subtick. Double whammy. Triple whammy. And Identity people believe fraud. that I'm homeless. Easily. They assumed. Yeah, he didn't even have to explain it. Remember when I was homeless? <laughs> you were never homeless, man. Yeah, I was. <laughs> no, you chose to not live some anywhere to save money. Guys, you fucking didn't save money. You were right. homeless by choice. Remember when I was homeless accidentally? <laughs> you loved that. I know, because you guys finally had the one up on me. No, because you were just saving yeah. more money. Uh, amongst the money at the time you were making, and you I saved more and money I didn't have and a, were homeless. And I didn't have a place to call home. You were the richest homeless or person or ever that. alive for a short while. Seriously. That's mm -hmm. fucking cool. I don't it's think not that, cool. I bet you that's not true. I bet yeah. you there's some millionaire out there that like lives as a homeless person. No, because homeless means you don't have a place to go. You yeah. you didn't have a place to go. I feel like those homeless people I did have a place they to go. Have villas in Miami. Like and they're yeah, even though they're choosing. But they don't stay in it mm -hmm. and they're nomads Which of the stupid. sort. It is stupid. But what you did was smart and disgusting, like a cockroach. Smart, but you survive. <laughs> smart, but you survive. <laughs> so even though you were being smart, you still survived. That's right. Okay. Do you see what I'm You're saying? You're being dumb. You had it in the bag, man. No worries. Speaking of the bag, can yeah. you guys give me a donation? Do you have the bag here? It's in my trunk where I keep them. And they're alive. How many? 
Yeah, with the living, living skin bags. Right, with pacemakers. A pacemaker doesn't keep you alive. Mine does. Yours or the one you put on them? The one I put on them, that's mine. The one they put on them? Yeah, I make them do it. <laughs> do they make it? <laughs> do they make So what? they also have to be heart surgeons? They don't have to be heart surgeons. I do the heart surgery. Is it their idea? I just, I open them up while they're freshly alive. And I tell them to connect the fucking pacemaker, you slut, you bitch, you. And then they connect it. I pull the trigger. Scares them. Doesn't hit them. And then I start removing. Makes them deaf, though, I right? I start removing their innards. And they're alive during that whole process. For so, sure. So if Most I of the be, time. If I, if I were to be looking at one of the, them. It would be a bag of skin, just an empty sack of skin exactly. with a heart that's still beating. No brain? Exactly. Uh, sometimes brain, sometimes no brain. the definition brain. of death is the brain stopping But I work. keep the brain alive separately from the bag. How is that connected to the heart, though? Wires. Okay. What kind of wires? That must be like... Copper. Copper wires. Copper XLRs. wires. XLR microphones? Yeah, so they can communicate. With each other? With or with you? With the brain and the body and the bag. Oh, so the, there's just a mic sitting next to the brain? Right. And then going out brain. to a mixer halfway and then right. to a speaker right So I need a laptop. With okay. Me and you need a Scarlet? You need a few Scarlets? I got a Scarlet T-I-I-I-T-I. Double I, double I. So you have a mobile s- audio equipment? Yeah, I can stream from it. <laughs> <laughs> You're nice. I use it to stream on the go. On so Twitch. why do you even need these people? Friends. But they're dead. They're alive, motherfucker. They're they, alive. They can't talk. Sometimes you don't need your friends to talk. You just need them to be there. Oh, yeah. That's the sound they make when they make a gun cry. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's hot in here, shit. dude. It's, it's not hot. that hot. It's not that hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> Relax, man. <laughs> what are you fucking worried about? I'm not worried. I can't have them know the temperature in here or we're fucking busted. <laughs> this is you, dude. That's fucking you, man. What are you fucking owl? <laughs> Sorry, man. I pushed the limit too hard. You want to become a body bag that I stream with? <laughs> no, I don't want to become a body bag. What have you been up to, Steve? <laughs> no, I don't want to become a bag. What are you up to, Steve? <laughs> Um, let me think. I've been playing a lot of Sunday to Die at Jane's. Yes. Uh, We're on day 14. We just went through a horde. Oh. And it went great. I just remember something Steve almost did. Um, we were going to go to a baseball game. And then shortly after, I received a phone call from Steve saying that we were no longer going. Oh, yeah. I was really looking forward to that. Oh, yeah. That's what happened. Yeah. Yeah. Steve uh, said, hey, do you want to go to a Dodgers game? I have tickets. And I said, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Because I don't fucking ever. Well, whatever. I, I ended game, up dude. having uh, Alyssa go with. Uh, I went with Alyssa to another game. The nice. Dodgers have been on a winning streak, baby. Oh man, That's they're cool. number one right now, Oof. dude. They won fifteen to one the other night. But now the pressure's on, you know, dude. Scoring they, fifteen they let the, in a baseball game. That's like it's unheard of. That's like you look at the other team and you're like, come on. They guys. let their pitcher. Hi. They let their uh, catcher pitch. I think at the very end, just for fun. Yeah. What do you think their secret weapon was? Playing Ro- good. Roids. Having good players. No, they're just, they've been on fire. Are they like a super team right now? Yeah, they are. But they've done this oh, before, and then they'll get to the, the very end, and they choke. they choke. Well, they got Ruth, right? Babe Ruth. <laughs> the dead baseball player that was He's famous. He's not dead. Yeah, the great Gambino. Babe Ruth is dead. I think he died in like 1930. No. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he died during Prohibition. I dude. think you're mistaken. He died from being caught what, with alcohol. What year do you think it is? Now or then? Let's do both. During what year do you think that I think that it is? During what year do you think that I think it is? What year is it right now? So what year are you asking me about? Currently. Right now. Ask me what year it is. Present. What year is it? Without stalling, I'll reply to you after you tell me. What year is it right now? What What year is it right now? At this moment? Yes. In time? Yes. Our dimension? Sure, yeah. You booby breath. Don't yeah, it's like twenty nine. <laughs> Don't working out with me. <laughs> what year is it? <laughs> his tongue went so deep into my ear. I can't hear Kim say what year it is. Um, dude. This is more fun. You're sitting on my core. I said into the podcast mic, and that's pretty much all I need to do. Oh, damn it, dude. Dude, Lofo is being so I did cute. My, I answered you. I didn't hear what you said because James was talking to my fucking dog. Well, if it's 2018 in China, their New Year's backwards. Then it's 20, 20-ish to Shakira, the one minus one. Shakira minus the one. 
Shakira, Shakira. Ooh, baby, when you talk like, like that. that. Ooh, yeah. yeah. 29. 2019. <laughs> you make me finish. Did you say 2019? Something like that. You're not done? I'm never done. Time's always going on. It's 2019 and a quarter. 2019 and a quarter. Point zero six one. It's always moving forward. You can never be stuck in one time zone. If you go to another, if you take a warp and you go to a different galaxy, then there's, if you land on a planet, there's a chance that it'll be seven years uh, in of human luck. time in the one minute on that planet. That's, that's actually exception. True. That's actually difficult to retain. I don't know what you're saying. It's called relativity. <gasps> through Einstein's theory of relativity, you ever read I it? still don't understand that planet shit. Like, how how is it even if you land on, like, an interstellar? When they went down on the planet, they're like, it's going to be fucking uh, seven years is going to pass every hour on the planet. How does that work? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't make any sense to me, but I'm sure it makes sense to them. I'll tell you. Please do. Time so is relative. I get that time is relative. You can just keep mm, saying that. The closer time. you get to the black hole. It's relative. The slower the time moves. Because of gravity. Yes. So Getting sucked in. And going in. <laughs> sure. So the planet that they with the water that they landed Why on was very close to the black hole. Oh. So the closer they got to it to get to the planet, the slower the time was moving for them. But the time on the ship that was further away was still moving at the same speed. So they basically were slowing down. And then once they left, all that time had normally just passed. Well, hadn't you? There's two black holes that collide. Big black hole. Really? Time. Yeah. But what happens if there's two black holes that are perfectly aligned that can't go any further closer to each other because they're getting pulled by other black holes? Time over would here? stand still. What if there was? Yeah, would that dude? What if? Okay, so let's say there's a no. black hole. Time just, would, can I finish this thought? Okay. Because this you has may to make not. Sense. Thank this you for asking. I have to think. Thank it you out. for asking. You may not. <laughs> <laughs> black hole, same size as this black hole, pointed. Well, I guess they're spheres. That was stupid. So two black holes Dumbass, dude. that are exactly the same. Exactly the same. Would never happen. I know it would never happen, but hypothetically, mm -hmm. two black holes that are exactly the same, same gravitational force, and the force acting same upon mass. them uh, is also the same. So like all the force from the from this side, they all of it is equal. Talking about. Two equal black holes. What would happen in the middle of those? Would time um, slow? I mean, I when, would time stop? If I feel like if that ever were to happen, that if the universe is infinite, it it is happening somewhere. Well, the universe isn't infinite. I know so they're, you guys they're like, that oh, it's expanding constantly, but question. maybe it'll happen. Are you saying maybe that it'll become infinite? <laughs> are you guys saying that time is determined by black holes? No, no, time is gravity. But it's no. slowed down by black holes the closer you are to one. Right. So basically, is that confirmed? The gravity of a black Ooh. hole is the mass is so, so, so large and so dense. Basically, um, a black hole, let's say maybe the size of Los Angeles, right? If it was a black hole that big. The mass that that holds is probably like... A couple acres? No, probably like 10 of our suns. A couple acres? Did you hear what I said? Yeah, 10 like of our suns. 10 of our suns or something. Did you hear? Insane. Did you hear me? Mm-mm. Thank you. Hey, Nanny. And so that's how dense that black mm -hmm. hole would be, the, the mass of 10 suns. So imagine uh, a sun that was as big as 10 of our suns and how much gravity that would have, mm -hmm. but it's in such a smaller place. Mm -hmm. And so things that are getting stuck closer to it, it's, um, it's e extremely exponential how close you can get to it, but you can never actually reach the event horizon, which is the actual black hole. Right. You'll keep getting uh, like fractions, fractions closer, but you'll never so ever infinitely reach far. It. So, but essentially the closer you get, the slower, why does time slow down the closer you get to because a black Because the gravity hole? is so intense. And, and gravity um, is a contributing factor to time. time. Gravity is a contributing factor to time. It's so big. It's called the Trisha Paytas theory. Man, I just wish I knew more about it. In general, all of it. No, I think you dude, know what I mean. I, I do too, man. Because because like, that's shit's I, so I'm unaware uh, as to how gravity affects time. Because I know that we use the sun as something to calculate time. But that just is that's just man made. Right. But that's, that's what I mean. Cycles. So I guess I just don't know enough about how time actually works in mm -hmm. general. I know that it's relative, and I understand Einstein's theory of relativity, but not how time 
works okay, in well, general. Think of a clock. Let me. I'm oh fuck! Try to it's just like one and two. <laughs> I'm gonna try to look up a very like easy. Yeah, thing let's to say how, how, on what how is, what is time? Why, how a black you hole know? affects time. Keep talking. So, last week before the sun sets, I'm coming home. How black make garlic? Not I good. walk this lonely road, the, the only one that I have ever known. Don't know where it goes, but it's home to me. I walk alone. Gotcha. Okay, so it's called gravitational time dilation. So to a distant, like this a is pregnant just lady. Yeah. So in the movie Interstellar, okay. So as predicted by general <laughs> relativity, the presence of a mass <laughs> deforms space-time in such a way that the paths taken by particles bend towards the mass. Uh, at the event horizon of a black hole, you're gonna hole, have to repeat that for him. Did you hear? Do you want me to say it again? You may. Okay. <laughs> I fucking knew it, dude. Cause same. Oh, I'm gonna start on this other paragraph here. And I was like, me? Then no. Then no Listen. way. No way. <laughs> The defining feature of a black hole is the appearance of an event horizon, a boundary in space-time through which matter and light can only pass inward towards the mass of a black hole. Nothing, not even light, can escape from uh, the event horizon, inside the event horizon. The event horizon is referred to as such because if an event occurs within the boundary, information you from that event cannot it. reach outside uh, to an outside observer, making it impossible to determine if such an event occurred. Mm -hmm. So if something were to able, like, to actually go inside of the event horizon, you would N never be able to know because nothing can go backwards. And only mm. you can only go in a supermassive black hole because little black holes will will pull you apart. Let's let's look up more about what time is. As predicted by general relativity, which is, um, your space and time is relevant to, or like your your place in space is relevant to the time. Mm -hmm. um, that's why like a star you see in the sky could be not there anymore and dead. Exactly because yeah. um, the presence of a mass deforms space time in such a way that the paths taken by particles bend towards the mass. So the closer they get, the more it's bending and being stretched towards it. Which is like what Steve was saying. It can, um, if we were like just in our body going towards a black hole, it would start to break down at a molecular level. Mm -hmm. All the science talks got me thinking. Uh, James, can you load up the Pirates of the Caribbean theme? Gotcha. Copy that. Science talk got me thinking about uh, something Neil deGrasse Tyson tweeted out recently. Oh, yeah. No, not yet, dude. Jesus, man. Fucking figure out when to time it. What are you thinking? Sorry, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, this was uh, during the... Uh, no, man. Come on. I'll, no, I'll, I'll, there's just, there's I'll no, cue you. I'll there's no you. definite time. Okay. I, I, I give, me, give me like a five... Give me a three second cue and then I'll play it because the little intro builds. Give up. me a two minute cue to give him the cue. I will give you. I will give you a cue to start playing. And the two minute cue. And then the that. two three seconds. Okay, two minute cue starts now. Okay. One twenty. So Neil deGrasse Tyson. This was after uh, two uh, very heinous acts uh, that happened oh, in, a, in two days read. in a row, two shootings in a row. In the pa and Neil deGrasse Tyson tweets out. In the past 48 hours, the USA horrifically lost 34 people to mass shootings. On average, across any 48 hours, we also lose 500 to medical errors, 300 to the flu, 250 to suicide, 200 to car accidents, 40 to homicide via handgun. Often, our emotions respond more to spectacle than to data. Oh, come on, Neil! Are you kidding me, dude? What a bummer, man! Very loud. No! Very loud. Neil! Neil! God, okay, so dude! So I just want to point out Neil, there... Neil! What are you point thinking, out, man? I just want to point out there, actually, real quick. Kip wasn't done with his cue to give me the three-second right. cue to play the music. Right. So I just want to... We need to go back. I think we might have to redo that. We get it. No. Okay, well, we get it. This episode's fucked. It's not fucked, but uh, here's my here's my thing about that because I read that and I was like, the fact this point, although true, doesn't matter, man. Hey, dude, no one needs a scientist right now, dumbass. Like, what are you trying to say? What, no one what needs, are you trying to say? By no this, one needs though? statistics right now, it's, it's dumbass. As if, it's as if the dumbass is trying to say that you know everyone's 
feelings and, and emotions are, towards are, the shootings are invalid because there's so much other shit going on too. No, it's people are allowed to be upset dude, by everything, man. He, that's like such, and I'm sorry if this is a very broad way to describe it. I don't mean any offense, but that is such a like incel way to think. <laughs> that's such a like scientist data statistics way to think. That's like a machine, dude. That doesn't fucking matter. The bottom line is people were murdered in cold blood by two fucking monsters, dumbass pieces of shit. He uh he responded to this. I actually haven't seen this yet. He tweeted or Sorry. made a post about this. Yesterday, a tweet I posted in reaction to the horrific mass shootings in America over the previous 48 hours killing 34 people spawned mixed and highly critical responses. If you missed it, I offered a short list of largely preventable causes of death along with their average two-day death toll in the United States. They significant, significantly exceeded the death toll from the two days of mass shootings, including the number of people, 40, who on average die from handgun homicides every two days. I then noted that we tend to react emotionally to spectacular incidences of death, with the implication that more common causes of death trigger milder responses within us. My intent was to offer objectively true information that might help shape conversations and reactions to preventable ways we die. Where I miscalculated, Dude, you fucking incel robot dumbass. Yeah, what a rude... What Where a I miscalculated really was that I guy. genuinely believed that the tweet would be helpful to anyone trying to save lives in America. What tweet has ever saved anybody, dude? Can we go back to the tweet real quick? I just want to see the wording that he used. So let's see. Click on it. Let's see. Okay, medical errors, which are errors, right? That's an no, accident. No, they're not errors, even though it says it. Oh, okay. Are you making fun of me or him? <laughs> the flu, which is a sickness. Suicide, which is absolutely preventable. It's always 100% preventable. Always. Car accidents Never joking. are not... Like, what I'm saying is he's he's apples and oranges. Well, a pre like a premeditated. This is some attack. high school ways to think. Dude. Th this is this him. Is like this is him. Teen in high school, man. It feels like he's offended that people care so much about the you know the, the shootings uh, over all of these other things. And he's saying like he's, he's just invalidating he's everyone caring. Trying to say like a high school student, it, people it feels die, very people die all the time for all these different reasons. But you guys only day. care about these ones. It's yeah, like no, everyone cares about all of them. But this one is very recent and and like. It's more publicized, so it's more in the eyes of everyone. So of course it's going to hit them hard. You can't be emotional. You, 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 yes, you, you absolutely yeah, can. Yeah, you can, dumbass. Absolutely. How yeah. do you think shit gets done if people don't care? People have to care for things to get to be well, fixed, too. Well, you can too. still care, I think, without emotions. I disagree. Uh, Emotionally, you have to care. The railroads? <laughs> well, the thing is, is that with, like, obviously with mass shootings, those are terrorizing events. Those aren't natural accidents or just kind of causes of death that can happen more frequently a mass shooting is a like a huge terrorizing event that is premeditated i gotta continue is, that's reading the difference his, uh, um like you can't premeditate a fool. anyway where i miscalculated was that i genuinely believed the tweet would be helpful to anyone trying to save lives in america what i learned from the range of reactions is that for many people some information my tweet in particular can be true but unhelpful, especially at a time when many people are either still in shock or trying to heal, or both. So, if you are one of those people, I apologize for not knowing. I sound like Aziz. I apologize for not knowing in advance what effect my tweet could have on you. I am therefore thankful for the candor and depth of critical reactions shared in my Twitter feed. As an educator, I personally value knowing with precision and accuracy what reaction anything I say or write will instill in my audience. And I got this one wrong. Yeah. You did. Yeah, you did. And like a week or two after Dude. his accusations are quote unquote clear. It was just a really immature ass. reaction of him to, to have to do what he did. I think the... the and the people one, have done that shit before. Like the one point that he made in that response was how I felt about it. Although these stats might be true, they don't matter right now. Well, no, the, the him posting that doesn't matter. Right. Yeah. Um, but it's yeah everybody can care about anything they want right exactly and, but and it doesn't it, he shouldn't have to post that ever to like punish people by bringing up that there's other things well, too punishing anyone well you know what I mean but like not punish but like Be being critical of people inva that invalidating people's opinions and feelings towards people they get fucking 
Yeah, I don't know why he felt the need to post that. Right? It feels very reactionary. Like he yeah, got like so angry. He got so angry Maybe that people cared it. about all these that he had. Dude, to... he has a history of dumb tweets though. It's like yeah. he just saw a, a lot of it on Twitter or something and got was like, oh, man, this is frustrating. He got so annoyed. And people die every day more than this. Uh, you shouldn't be so emotional about all the deaths. Fucking what, yeah, man? That, Are you a robot dumbass? And the irony is, like, his tweet seems like it was much more of an emotional like reaction. Do you know what I mean? Literally everyone that responds to him, like, oh, you're so right, Neil. It's, it's, these statistics are absolutely robots, true. Everybody, bots. fucking incel robots, dude. Bots, all, all of, of them. them. They're fucking bots, dude. I'm going to build 90s CSGO around them, bots, I swear to God. Dude, dude, I'm, CSGO 90s, bots. I'm building 90s around these incel yeah. robots, these dubu dots. 90s build dots. <laughs> these dubu dots, dude. We're going to have a 90s build off. <laughs> these fucking dipping dots, robots, man. These fucking people just. Dipping dots, robots. Ugh. Good for him, though. He's really doing everything great. <laughs> yeah, I'm over him. He's a freak, man. Let me see your fucking tattoo. I want to see if Myers is there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> it is. Good. <laughs> Good Wait, morning. what? This uh, this picture says causes of death in the USA in 2016. Top of the list. They put abortion on the list. Causes of death. Does that mean complications with abortion? No. It, I think it means the baby that they are killing. Okay. What do you think about that, Steve? What do you think? Well, I think about that's that, stupid. James? Okay. I what think that. What do you that, think about that? That's stupid. I think that. I don't know why there isn't a definitive like moment in a pregnancy where the child is considered alive versus not alive. I think there has to be to be able to. As long as it's in a vagina, you should just fucking stick something up there and just stab its little fucking head and kill it. Suck it out. Because it's not feeling anything. It's just a little dumbass. And then, hey, if I had a vagina right now and I had two kids inside me, I'd I'd reach in, dude, I'd pull one out, eat it. (laughs) Fuck, the man. other one still in there? They're not feeling, dude. They don't know a thing, man. They're dead. They can feel things. No, I, I killed them. They can't feel. I guarantee you, when I was in that womb, uh, I don't remember it. Great. And I wouldn't feel a thing, dude. You could kill me anytime you want. There also, don't remember. There are a hundred percent things that can happen that can affect the development and um, mindset of that child. Poking at it. Poking at it. Killing it. Okay, so we're not gonna have a real discussion. What's the next thing on there? Heart disease, that's true. I was just letting Steve bury himself <laughs> potentially by talking Bury myself? About, Dude, we're putting we're abortion on this list is so dumb. I don't agree. Woo. Someday. It, no, it's just a no, touchy dude, subject, I guarantee Steve. you. Tw- I understand I know, but 20 to 30 years from now, maybe more. We're going to get to a point where everyone's like, oh, why do we even give a or shit about abortion? Or the opposite direction. It's fucking stupid. Dude, or the opposite direction. No. And it'll be no, even more it's, sensitive. It's going the other way. It's going the other way. There are more people that are down to get abortions than ever. No, no. I mean, in general, think, about people getting offended about things and caring about. Oh, getting offended, like yeah, but, but and people caring about things like this, like and caring about things in general. We've we're the most ever. But and anyone that's it's not only an incel getting more doesn't believe in for sure. But what I'm saying is like, what are you what? saying? Uh, I was talking about abortion again. I was calling you an incel. Oh, look who's talking. <laughs> Come on, wiener I, here. here. Here's what wiener here. Here's what I don't like about abortion because, and again, I don't know the exact moment uh, during a pregnancy where. Uh, a baby is considered alive to the point where because it's different in different laws from state to state right like and subjectively point, um, person by person too you know sure I, mean? I, I don't I don't like wins. that um, or I don't agree with abortion being used as a form of birth control I agree that's so fucked up like someone is fine iris- and that's fine that's what you think but I also I then see- question myself because I'm like I don't go through terrible things and then I'm pregnant and don't want it so like my opinion doesn't fucking matter no, but you are still not allowed to have an opinion. Just, you're right, and I'm not saying this to like. No, none of our opinions actually matters on this. It's literally, and I'm not trying to white knight. It's only women's right. opinion that no, matters. That, that's kind of where I'm going we with should this not too. have an opinion on this. This I is think so we stupid. Can, I think we absolutely should a and private can. Opinion, a private opinion. Yeah, we can have a private opinion. Can I on this? fucking say you what can. I'm about to say? I think we are absolutely in the right to have an opinion, but it's not our choice. We can still have an opinion and how we feel about it. Oh yeah, I agree easily. I'm not ever gonna, despite what I think. I would never say because I have this opinion, you have to do what. what yeah, my you're not like is. radicalizing your opinion. Yeah. You're just saying like this I'm is never what I gonna think. like. You're not some Nazi. No, you're dude, not some I'm not fucking German fucking Nazi, Nazi warrior. Yeah, it's this guy right here. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the like being irresponsible with sex, either not using protection, and that's a whole other conversation with like um, contraceptives. Um, but not being responsible while having sex to the point and you just don't care if you get pregnant because you can just get an abortion I don't agree with that I, agree. I think if you That's got the fun. money and you don't care about the physical repercussions of an abortion go ahead fucking do it who cares 
It's just a baby. So I swear to God, who cares? It's just fucking. It's oh, basically already dead. <laughs> <laughs> totally, man. You're so <laughs> fucked. It's man. just. It's like a fucking thing inside. Dude, you're gonna of be a famous. Even, it's barely in existence. You're yet. gonna be a famous director, and all of this is gonna be taken no, as serious. No, in a hundred years, I'll still be alive. Then. <laughs> when a, I'm a director, dude, in a hundred years, nobody's gonna give a shit about abortion. I guarantee you. I, everyone's gonna. Dude, I don't know, Everyone's man. gonna be like, we're not moving in that direction, dude. Oh, we are. We are we're, not. We're gonna. We're gonna. It's possible, but we are not moving in that direction. Well, We're moving soon, the opposite direction. Well, no, direction. pretty soon everyone in the whole world will have birth control and you won't even exist. <laughs> what do you think about abortion? Pretty soon. You don't have to talk about it. No, I, I don't mind talking about it. Again, my first and foremost uh, thing I want to say before I say anything is that it is obviously not my choice. And my Absolutely. opinion my opinion does not matter. I'm not radicalizing my opinion. and I'm not trying to enforce my opinion. But my thought, when I think about it, from my emotional perspective, is that it sucks that... Um, you know, babies get killed. It's shitty, but also it's the woman's choice. It's not my choice. That's how I feel about it. So and I think that doesn't suck that correct. bad. You I didn't even know half of these babies. I knew most. Of them. I know <laughs> he knew half of them. I know so most. He knew two hundred fifty thousand babies that <laughs> were still in the womb. The one I feel really strongly about for sure is women that use it as a f- not just women, but pe- I guess women that use it as a form of birth control. The ones that are careless. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's situation by situation where it's. You know, like if somebody gets raped and then they don't want their child and then there's opinions that st- people will still say they should still have it and give it an abortion. Oh, that's so give stupid. Give it up. But like, it's not my choice. That's the worst of all. I think it sucks that babies have to die. That sucks. But I get that people can do whatever What's they want to do and you should do what when you want to do. When someone is raped and there are people on oh, uh, no. that Into- are like, uh, you would abort that. It's like, yeah, dude. Dude, anything that has to do with rape or abuse with abortion is a completely different circumstance. That is not okay. I mean, again, it's still 100% up to the, the woman. But, you know, like, the yeah. fact that people on the far right side of things will say that is still unacceptable, like, that's just a whole other circumstance that any of these fucking people would never understand unless they are this woman who went through that. You know, despite Louis C.K., the stuff that has happened, yeah, yeah, yeah. he made, uh, mm-hmm. I think, a great... Uh, His jerking like, off in front of people. So you're going to yeah. use... Uh, something from Louis C.K. to close out your side of this? <laughs> Women love him. Um, he mentioned uh, something about abortion where he's like, I think, you know, people just hold life too too dear. It's just like, who gives a shit? It's so, just, it's just well, that that's the, subjective and anecdotal. I believe that he, at the core, He believes that Too, too many syllables not, in both those words couldn't get past one over my head. Um, it, it's just subjective. I think anecdotal. that at the core okay. of life but I, should I, be I a value you. for I life. You know. I think that... I love you. Okay. Love you, too. you guys love each other? Not really. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, no. I do. I do. <laughs> so what did he say again? Um, I can load Just up. Just paraphrase it again. It's okay. Louis C.K. on abortion. So you said that people hold life too dear. Okay, I think that the reason why the world is so fucked up is because people don't hold life dear enough. Mm-hmm. People don't value life enough. I mean, it's a, it's about valuing the the right kind of life. But I, I think what James what is saying is that mean? I, I think what James Not is saying is actually right because you. if everybody valued life as people a, that exist all the same, and obviously it would never happen, people would treat people better in general. Yeah, and, and then would, that would result in a I'm better world. And I'm talking about people in power, people with control, right. people with influence don't value life enough, so that becomes ideas that spread and grow into population because they don't have to they're in such a position of power and and wealth that they don't have to give a fuck well, let's focus about on on being good to the people that are, exist out here in the the mortal plane instead of the ones that are immortal immortal <laughs> <laughs> ones that are immortal <laughs> that are um, immortal immortals that's fucking sick Thank you. Yeah, I know the development was a little slow. Obviously, didn't play into the joke, but you still talking? Pretty good. Pretty good. How are you? <laughs> I'm trying to find like the exact. No, I think I remember. It was pretty much that. Yeah. Anyway, I, I hear what he's saying because like, he that opinion kind of stems from like everybody's getting too offended about everything. That's kind of the same. I guess I just don't understand how you can have an emotional connection with something that isn't born yet, unless it's your own baby. Well, well that's the thing. It, it's it's also with like yeah, when it's your baby for sure. But like, I I guess you you fully because no one wants to get an abortion. And, yeah, I mean, unless you Dude, were raped so, and don't yeah, want the child. It's well, not yeah, a desire to go out and get an abortion. You no know, abortion addict. It's an apathy oh. of human life. Like, because, like, the perception of it is that because this baby, which is a life form that's growing and will become a baby, because it's not a physical baby out of the womb but here barely. in front of me, I don't agree. It's no, it doesn't have value in life. 
because it's not right here in front of me. I think the potential for it to be a, a human is enough to validate that it. I agree, and it's know? like it's it's, and then they they say um, the the moment when consciousness comes into it is like the moment that I guess life happens, but again I don't know the exact like schedule of a pregnancy when when these different like development things happen with the fetus look up when a baby people are gonna off. comment oh great what we need more of is white millennial males know, right? talking about and abortion like, and I don't care hey, I said don't watch the podcast I, then you fuck and I'm I'm really honest no, I watch I, it but side with me I think I too I personally feel a hundred percent valid to have my opinion but I know that it's not Dude, my choice a baby doesn't become day. conscious until year eight <laughs> <laughs> They're just running on an instinct <laughs> Instinct nerves oh, This is too much to read Oh, uh, New research shows that babies display it's Glimmers of consciousness progress. and memory as early as Five months old Cool Alright, so that's where we're going to end the podcast Today <laughs> uh, Thank you to our sponsors I love it when uh, Steve reads enough of a point To validate himself and then he stops Well dude, this is AAAS.com oh. Alternative Adult? Action science. Action science, dude. <laughs> um, Academy Award action science. This is this is a turn that I didn't think was going to happen in this podcast, but I welcome it. Was it was enjoyable. Yeah, I, I agree. welcome it. It's fun to talk no, about I like having real talks because yeah. at the end of the day... We're going to go back and play Seven Days to Die. Yeah. Well, after you, after you subpoena someone.